video. And I'm really excited for this video because I don't normally sit down and do talking videos. And I actually used to do a lot of those, but I kind of stopped and went to more of the videos that had more editing and stuff like that. I'm still going to do those videos, but I want to do a lot more of these videos because not only are they quicker, but I feel like there's it's a chance for you guys to get to know me better because I actually like talk and stuff. I don't just do voiceovers or like smile and like pose and stuff or whatever. Today I'm going to be doing a tag. Like I said, this is the Confessions of a Beauty Group tag. And I was tagged by Smile Buddies XOXO, and I'm not sure if I was tagged by anybody else, but... Um, I know I was hacked by her, so thanks for tagging me, Hale. I don't even know. Okay. So I have the questions here on my iTouch, and I don't have like an iPhone. I'm not that cool, unfortunately. Okay, so the first question is, how many hours a week do you spend filming slash editing your videos? I would say I spend about um, 6 to like 13 hours a week editing and filming just because I really like doing it. That's what I like doing, so. Yeah. Are you a spender or a saver? I'm definitely a spender. Um, I have this problem. I'm saving up for the Canon T3i um, this year, so I'm definitely going to stop doing that and I'm going to start saving, but I'm definitely a spender and it's just a really bad habit. When is it easiest for you to film? It's definitely easiest for me to film when nobody's home. Um, my parents are usually either at work or they are at home but like reading so they don't make much noise or anything but I like to film during the day like at 2 or like sometimes I like filming in the morning because it has the best lighting. I don't like filming at night. I guess around between like 11 and like 4 I guess. That's when it's usually the best lighting for me. What makes talking in front of the camera comfortable for you? Uh, everybody has said this, I'm pretty sure, and it's probably the only reason I do YouTube videos because my mom even pointed out the other day, because I'm like a really, really, really shy person in public, like I don't like talking to people unless I'm forced to, so my mom's just like, why can't you talk to people the way you talk to like your viewers on YouTube, and I told her, I was just like, there's not like a real crowd in front of me, like I'm, there's like a window in front of me, like you, you guys don't like, I'm not looking at you, I don't see you. And that's what makes me comfortable because I know, like, I don't have the pressure of people looking at me while I'm trying to film and it's just, it's a lot more comfortable like that. And I don't know, like, I'm really shy in person. I don't like people looking at me, like, expecting me to say something and if I mess up, then I can edit this out, but I can't edit out something in real life. So that's what makes it comfortable. I can edit things out and I don't have the pressure of people staring at me, like, waiting for me to mess up. And yeah that's what makes it comfortable what's your worst makeup slash hair habit hmm let's see I used to be really bad at washing my face but this whole summer I've washed my face twice a day so I guess that's not really a habit um so I guess the makeup habit I have is oh my god what was it I really forgot Okay, this is a really bad habit I've been having lately, and it's, let's say I'm staying home the whole day, which is, like, not, like, rare for me. Like, I stay home pretty much every day and watch movies, which is really bad because I need to get back into the habit for school, and I wake up, like, every day at 11, so my habit is putting on makeup when I don't really need to. Like, I'm at home all day, no one sees me, and I put on makeup. Like, that's just, like, stupid. To me, it's just, like, wasting my makeup. There's no reason to do it. No one's gonna see me. It's just like, what the heck, like, why do that? One quote that you wish the world would live by. YOLO. Okay, just kidding. No, because, like, if everyone lived by that, like, we'd all be dead. So, I don't know. I don't really, like, hmm. If you're two-faced, at least make one of them pretty. Okay, just kidding. Be yourself. Like, I know it's so cheesy, but be yourself. Like, I don't even think that's considered a quote. But it's something that I've been trying to live by this past year that's been really hard for me to do just because I feel like I've been pressured by the people around me to be exactly like everybody else wants you to be. Hold on, I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, hold on. Oh my god, I hate on this happened. So I really wish that everybody would live by be yourself. I'm not exactly sure if that's considered a quote. But um, I think it should be. Because I feel like everybody's so busy trying to be, like trying to fit in that they don't try to make themselves unique and like, I don't know, I feel like fitting in is just overrated. Like, honestly, 
you'll fit in because you're unique. You, sh you should fit in with your friends because they, they like you for who you are. I think everybody should live by be yourself. How long do you spend getting ready every day? This whole summer, it takes me like five or ten minutes to get ready just because like I don't do anything. So like unless I'm going out, like today I went to the mall and it still took me like ten minutes to get ready. So during school it takes me like 20 or 15 minutes to do my makeup and my hair. Um, but I don't, I think that will change because um, I'm going to a different school and I, this whole summer I realized that I was wearing way too much makeup. Um, like in the 8th grade so I'm definitely not going to wear a lot of makeup so it's not going to take me as long to get ready so overall it takes me about 10 or 5 minutes to get ready in the morning. Your favorite video on YouTube? This is a very hard question because I watch YouTube videos 24-7. Um, I don't know, like this is hard. Okay, this probably isn't my all-time favorite video, but I've really been obsessed with it lately. And it's the Nikki Phillippe, um, music video, or not, like, Lipped Up for Taylor Swift, so I have to wear Never Getting Back Together. I am obsessed with that video, you guys. I have probably watched it, like, 50 times. I'm not even kidding. Um, oh my gosh, I love it so, 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 so much. And another video that I really like is, um, if you guys have seen it, it's, like, the zombie chase or something like that. I'll put it in the down bar. I'll put it like right here. Um, it's very interesting. Like these people go like ch like they dress up as zombies and they like chase like public in public like random people. It's really really interesting and just really funny. So I like those types of videos. I don't have a specific like absolute favorite video on YouTube. Um, I'll get back to that one someday. So. A YouTuber that you watch who deserves more views slash more subscribers than they have. Definitely, definitely, okay, there's two people because I can't just pick one. Oh, there's, uh, <laughs> nah. So the first person is Landers123, her name's Delaney, and she has, like, her videos are amazing. Like, she puts so much work into them. Her editing is really good. And she has, like, she deserves so many more views, it's not even funny. Bintle BDX, I love her so, 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 so much. Her videos um, have been getting really good lately, so I love her. One thing you're excited about in the upcoming year. I'm excited about my YouTube, but how will I'll come to be on YouTube this next coming year because I've only, I've almost been on YouTube for a year in November, like, November 26th. So, my goal is to get 5,000 subscribers by then, but I honestly don't think that will happen. Um, we'll see. But, something I'm excited about is getting my braces off. Your most awkward feeling one. I've been thinking about this, like, so much lately because I've had so many to the point where I don't even, like, remember any of them. Also, there's one that I actually got caught on film. It was my blue How to Sell Blue Jean Jacket video, and my neighbor, like, their house is, like, up here in our backyard it's like right here so they can see like our whole backyard and everything we're doing when i was filming that video i was like i saw her come up and i was like oh my god what is she gonna think i'm doing so i dropped to the floor and i was just like oh my god like she's gonna see me and she's gonna be like what the heck are you doing so i'm on the floor like trying to hide from her and i don't realize that she can still see me on the ground like on the in the grass and she's like what are you doing and i'm just like oh filming a video and she's just like cool for what and it's like you too and she's like oh cool it's like oh my god and it's like sat on the ground like picking grass until she left it was really embarrassing so probably that how long does it take for you to prep for a video um i honestly film a video after i've already gotten ready for the day and like if i actually did get ready for the day so it probably takes me like 10 minutes are you wearing pants, jeans, slash skirt right now? Or are you actually wearing pajama bottoms? Actually, I just got back from the mall, so I'm still wearing my like the shorts I wore to the mall. I'm not wearing the same shirt. I'm just wearing these, um, I don't know if you can see. Shorts. They're just blue jean shorts. So I usually be wearing my Nikes. I wear those in like every video. Um, there's like Nike shorts that I usually wear. I don't ever wear pajama bottoms because it's really hot where I live, except for some reason, it's really cold um, today, so no, I'm wearing blue jean shorts. And the last question is, what are you most proud of in your life? I am most proud of, and this is going to sound 
cheesy or whatever you guys think it will sound like because I'm most proud of wearing my back brace. Um, I know you guys are just like, how are you proud of that? Like, it's the It's something that I've had to overcome my whole life um, for four years, ever since I was in fourth grade, and I'm going to high school. I've had it since fourth grade, and it's just, it's something that's definitely changed me for the better. It's made me become a more brave person and just stronger overall because I have to be responsible to be wearing that 24-7. Like, I only take it off for an hour to a day. I'm just proud of a lot of things, and yeah. Okay, we'll be getting into this video. It was pretty long, and I'll probably edit it to where it's not that long. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Be looking out for more videos in the future. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Up, or it's up there, actually. I always get confused. It's up there. Yeah. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.